Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. Today we have the task of milling up some lumber for an 8x8 pavilion that is actually being built for the boss. You see, he has this grill and it needs a spot to be put, so we're going to be building this pavilion. And not only can we build it, but we can also produce the material that is going to be used for it. So that's what we're up to today. Let's get into this video. Now, if you want to take a quick look at the lumber list here, it's just quite a bit of two by tens and we will need some four by eights and four by sixes. And then we're actually going to um, be matching it with our, uh, with our porch. And so we'll use some peeled posts for the corners instead of using like six by sixes or whatever. So that will look super neat we need to get to this it's all 10 foot material but we only have 12 foot logs that's right we ran out of 10 foot material um for the moment so right now we're just cutting 12 foot material for uh the 10 foot stuff it's a shame but it's what we have to work with today so we already have this one rolled onto the arm let's get started
I wanted to take a quick pause on the mill to make a quick mention about our merch. We've been having a lot of fun coming up with cool little sayings to put on these t-shirts and sure it's not quite t-shirt weather yet. I mean it was there for a few days and we were having fun running around with t-shirts on when the weather was nice but now it's back to coat weather but not forever and you need to be prepared for when that warm weather comes around so make sure you are with lumber capital log yard merch this one says sawdust in my brain diesel in my veins i really like that one although i do say that about all of them i like all of them so what anyways be prepared order yourself one today on our website at lumbercapital.com. Anyways, let's get back to milling. We managed to get the whole order done, which isn't surprising. There wasn't that much. We just needed like 16 two by tens, some beams. We'll also need those peeled posts for the corners, which will look really nice because then it will match with our porch. I can't wait for you guys to see what it looks like when it's all done. I can't wait to see it. I'll keep you guys posted on the progress. We're just working through the early stages of it now. Here's a few clips of just what it's looking like. We're just laying down some plastic before we uh, start to actually get the foundation. Uh, we have to get all of this lumber to the house, so that will happen here sometime. We'll probably need a trailer for that, even though there's not that much. Anyways, thanks for watching today's video, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. But other than that, I'll see you back here next time.